Hi guys, welcome to another video. And in this one, we are going to take a look at the IPsec configuration between two PFSense firewalls. If you'd like to go through the step-by-step -step instructions, this is my blog article, which I will link in the description below so that you can follow along. And this is the topology that we are going to work on today. I have a PFSense firewall at the branch one, which has a subnet of 10.1.1.0 slash 24, and another one at the branch two with a subnet of 10.2.2.0 slash 24, the LAN connectivity at the firewall is working absolutely fine and also the LAN users are able to talk to the internet. However, if they wanted to talk to each other, meaning if branch 1 wanted to talk to branch 2, it doesn't work. And we are going to fix that specific problem by setting up an IPsec VPN. Before we proceed, I have a request. If you like what you're watching, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. That would encourage me to create more content like this one. And if you guys have any questions or suggestions on the topic that you want me to cover, please let me know in the comment section below. Let's first check the connectivity at each side. I have a Linux machine at the branch one, open terminal, uh, type IP ADDR that will show you the IP address of the machine. As you can see, I got an IP address of 10.1.1.20 from the PFSense firewall at the branch one. And if I try to ping the gateway 10.1.1.1-C, two times I want to ping and you can see that it's working fine. Same way if I try to ping any external website for example ping www.google.com and two times I want to ping so hyphen C2 and it is responding as well. But if I change the IP address to remote IP which is 10.2.2.1 you can see that it's not responding. Let me continue to ping that I'm not going to stop it. After we setting up the VPN you will see that it is responding back. I have the same Ubuntu server on the branch too. Let me log into that. It's already logged in, good. Just like we did before, let me open the terminal and type IP ADDR. And I have an IP address 10.2.2.21 from the PFSense branch 2 DHCP service, which is good. If I try to ping gateway 10.2.2.1, you can see that I'm getting a response. And let me now try to ping hyphen C2 www.google.com and the internet connectivity looks good here as well but when i try to ping remote branch ip 10.1.1.1 it doesn't respond which means on both the sides the lan connectivity and the internet is working fine however between the branch sites the connectivity is not good so we are going to fix that now let me open the pfsense firewall from both branch 1 and branch 2 to easily identify and differentiate between these two firewalls, I have made the branch 1 PFSense firewall with the default theme. However, on the branch 2, I have a PFSense dark theme. Moreover, if you look closely, you could see there is a difference. Did you get it? On branch 1, I am using PFSense Community Edition. However, on branch 2, I use PFSense Plus. Let's start the IPsec configuration at the branch 1. To configure the IPsec, go to VPN. IPsec, click on add P1, which is nothing but phase one. This is where you configure the IPsec phase one in PFSense. Let's start with the general information. Give a description, something like tunnel to branch two. And in the IK endpoint configuration, key exchange version choose IKv2. Leave internet protocol to IPv4. Leave the WAN interface to default, unless you have multiple WAN interfaces and you would like to change, which is not the case. I have only one single WAN interface, so it should be okay. Remote gateway enter the branch to WAN public IP, which is 9.9.9.102. And in the phase one proposal authentication part, in the authentication method, choose mutual PSK, which is a common method to create IPsec VPN tunnel. In the pre-shared key, PFSense can create a pre-shared key for you. All you have to do is generate new pre-shared key that would then create a new complex pre-shared key as you can see let me copy that as well next phase one proposal encryption algorithm we are using pfsense version 2.7.2 at the time of this recording pfsense already deprecated previous less secure encryption algorithm such as des 3 des and so on so you are feel free to choose whatever the available options here some government agencies or organizations strictly use gcm ones as it provide more security but in my case i'm choosing the aes and the key length as 256 which is very common in the enterprise network and the hash as sha256 and the diffie hellman group dh for short i choose 
14. You could have multiple sets of encryption algorithms, but in my case, I'm just using single one, which is more secure. Leave everything as is default and scroll all the way down. Click on the save button at the bottom and apply changes. You will now see the phase one of the IPsec tunnel configuration is now complete. Next, we will configure the phase two. To configure the phase two, click on the show phase two entries, which is empty at the moment. One quick tip here, if you have multiple phase two subnets, you can continue to add P2s here by clicking on add P2, but remember to match on both sides. I'll create a separate video that covers how to set up IPsec VPN in PFSense with multiple subnet later. For now, let's go ahead and add the phase two parameters for our tunnel with a single subnet. Click on add P2 to add the phase two parameters now. In the phase two tunnel configuration, under general information, I'm adding the description first. For example, phase two tunnel to branch two. In the mode list drop down, you will see multiple choices, but choose the tunnel IPv4. Under networks, choose local networks as LAN subnet. That will select the LAN IP subnet of the PF sensor that I have. And in the remote network, choose network from the drop down and enter the subnet as 10.2.2.0 and choose 24 from the drop down. Phase 2 proposal, choose protocol as ESP, encryption algorithm as AES, and 256 as a key length. Unselect the AES128 GCM, which I don't need at the moment. Hash algorithm as SHA-256 and PFS group as 14. Leave everything else as default and then scroll down and click on save and apply changes. Expand the phase two and you can see both the phase one and phase two are now configured successfully. And on to the security policies. So we have built a tunnel. Now we need to create a policy for the IPsec tunnel at branch one. So depending on your scenario, you would have to define the security policy. Maybe you require a policy only from branch one to branch two, and you don't want the branch two to initiate any traffic towards the branch one. Since this is a lab, we are going to allow traffic from both the directions. To create security policy in the PFSense firewall, click on firewall and then click on rules. Click on IPsec tab to add the policy for the IPsec tunnel. At the moment, I don't have any policy defined for the IPsec tunnel and I'm going to add new one. Click on the add button to add new policy here. Action should be pass. Interface already picked up as IPsec, which is good. And the address family selected as IPv4, that is fine as well. In the protocol, instead of choosing TCP, choose any. In production setup, however, you most likely choose TCP and the specific port numbers. Since this is a lab, I'm just allowing all, which is fine. In the source address, choose the LAN subnet as we are first allowing the outbound traffic, meaning traffic from the branch one to the branch two. And in the destination, choose network and then enter the subnet 10.2.2.0/24. Log the traffic. In the description, add a descriptive name that can be used to identify the policy allowing traffic to branch two. Perfect. Click on save. Don't click on apply changes yet. We need to create another policy, but this time we are going to allow the inbound traffic from the branch two. Instead of adding a new policy, I got a trick for you. You can actually clone the existing policy here. Click on the copy button right next to the policy that we just defined. The PFSense now copied the existing policy. Everything looks good. The only place we have to make changes are the source and the destination address. And the description, of course, has to be interchanged as well. In the source, choose network and then enter the subnet 10.2.2.0/24. And in the destination, choose land subnets. And in the description, instead of allowing traffic to branch 2, add allowing traffic from branch 2 and click on save. Ensure everything looks good and then apply the changes. We have successfully completed the IPC configuration and its policies on the PFSense firewall at the branch one. If you now check the PFSense IP6 status, you could see that it is in connecting state, but it will never connect because we have not configured the remote side. Let's configure the remote branch. Log into the PFSense on the remote side, go to VPN, IPsec, and just like we did on the PFSense branch one, we will start with the phase one and then proceed with the phase two. 
click on add p1 to add phase one of the tunnel in the description add for example tunnel to branch one and key exchange version choose ikv2 leave the internet protocol and the interface as default in the remote gateway you would have to enter the branch one public ip from which branch one initiate the ipc communication which is 4.4.4.51 authentication method mutual psk pre-shared key copy and paste the pre-shared key from the branch one encryption algorithm choose aes256 and hash sha256 and dh group 14 leave everything else as default and click on save and apply the changes you may now click on show phase 2 and raise and click on add p2 to add the phase 2 tunnel information in the description add something like phase 2 tunnel to branch 1 mod tunnel ipv4 local network choose land subnet from the drop down remote network choose network and then enter the remote branch ip which is 10.1.1.0 and 24 from the drop down encryption algorithm choose aes256 unselect aes128 gcm Hash algorithm select SHA-256, PFS group choose 14 and click on save changes and apply the changes. IPsec configuration is now complete. If you now check the IPsec status, you could see that the tunnel is now in established state. That doesn't mean the traffic will now pass through the tunnel as we have not configured the policy at the branch 2. Let's now proceed to configure the policies for the traffic. To configure the policy, go to firewall and then rules. Click on IPsec tab, click on add new policy, action is pass, interface is IPsec, address family is IPv4 and in the protocol instead of TCP choose any, source address choose LAN subnets, in the destination choose network and then enter the subnet 10.1.1.0 slash 24, check log packets that are handled by this rule, add a description, allow traffic to branch 1. And click on save like we did in the remote branch click on copy icon to clone the same policy everything looks good let's now change the source and the destination ip address in the source choose network and then enter the subnet 10.1.1.0 24 and in the destination choose lan subnets change the description to allow traffic from branch one and then click on save ensure everything looks good and then click on apply changes Though we have checked already, let's check the IPsec tunnel status one more time before we proceed with the test in the traffic. To check the tunnel status, you can go to status and then IPsec. As you can see, it is in established state on the branch one. Let's now move on to testing the traffic. In the branch one Linux Ubuntu machine that we have, remember we had continuous ping that was running? Let's check the status now. Let me log in. As you can see, the ping was checked before and it started automatically when the tunnel came up. We tried to ping google.com initially and then we tried to ping 10.2.2.1 and it was checked and after the tunnel establishment happened, the ping traffic started to flow. That's awesome. Let's move to the branch to Ubuntu machine. Let me log in. As you can see, the ICMP traffic that was stuck before and it is now responding. Great. You can now manage the PSN's branch 1 and branch 2 from any of the branch sites that we have as long as the connection is active. Let me open the browser and try to access my local pfsense firewall. Login. Of course, I'm able to log in. Let me try to access the remote branch pfsense firewall now, which is branch one. HTTPS colon slash slash 10.1.1.1 and hit enter and login. If you look at the top, you can see the name of the firewall pfsense br1, which is branch one. So we have now successfully set up IPsec side-to-side -side VPN between two branches that are running PFSense firewalls. We also tested the connectivity and that works perfectly fine. That's it in this video and I hope you liked it. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.